All right, well, let's move to another legendary person, Astros manager, Dusty Baker. Now, he's the most winningest manager without a World Series ring. He's gotten close, but nothing to show for it. How much pressure do you think he's feeling heading into this World Series? I do think there is some pressure. There has to be. I mean, be. it's gotten to the point where, like you just said, he's won more games than any other manager in history to not win a World Series. It's the last thing. It is. Dusty's a Hall of Famer. Mm -hmm. He is. And he's also, there's an art, like, when it comes to managers that also played the game, he's in the top to have ever done it. And that he was a good player. And he's been an all-time great manager, and he is going to go into the Hall of Fame. Now, he does have a World Series ring from his playing days a long time ago, but he needs one on the managing side of things. Yeah. And I think, you know, of people that are just looking onto this series that really have no skin in the fight, there are people that are saying, I just, I, I would like Dusty to win. It's been, he deserves it. How does he do that? Because, again, the manager can only do so much right yeah it's up to the players at this point it is but managers take on more of a role in the post explain well that's when pitching changes and lineups okay. all become so like you're, you're really looking into it in the regular season it's sort of guys have their roles yeah. right you have a setup guy pitch the eighth you have a closer pitch the ninth you have your starter and then if you need to bridge the, bridge that gap great in the postseason we see starters go three, four innings sometimes. Okay. Then it's, what are you going to do? Who are you going to turn to? And it's that manager's call. And how many times in the past, I mean, I think the most well-known, at least in recent past decision, is Kevin Cash with Blake Snell a few years ago in the World mm -hmm. Series pulling Blake Snell. And that conversation goes to, why did Kevin Cash pull him? Yeah. And we could be having a different conversation right now. The, the Rays could have gone on to win that game, and then who knows what happens the rest of that series, and that's on the manager. So, yeah, there's a little bit of, like, that's just one of those stats that it, it just sticks out to you, but there's really no rhyme or reason to it. But there's also a part of it that I bet you you could ask Dusty, and he'd say there's some decisions I made in the past in the World Series that I do wish I had done differently, and maybe he'd have a, a ring on the, on the managing side. Now, you obviously have a, a close connection to the Astros. What kind of impact has he had on this clubhouse? I think I, the guys love him. And yeah. I think what, he's hysterical. And yeah. there are so many stories that Dusty Baker tells. By the way, I don't know if you knew this. What? Dusty Baker invented the high five. Uh, no, look uh, it up. That's a stretch. Look it up. He invented the he high invented five? invented the high five. I don't know. I'm going to call like a, a seven CPI on this. You don't. Uh, go ahead. Okay. Explain CPI. <laughs> so CPI, my family, is called the Curry Probability Index. If you say something confidently enough, it's a high CPI. So Whether it's true or not, but you said it confidently enough, I'm like, okay, I could see it. But like high fives could have been before people even were able to record what high fives were. There's no. Mm -mm. No, no. Well, it's a fact. <laughs> Dusty I'll Baker and Glenn Burke in the 1960s or 1970s. What, what was it again? Maybe we, the first one, what, like, caught on TV? I'm getting it. Dusty Baker okay. and Glenn Burke of the Dodgers, October 2nd, uh -huh. 1977. Dusty Baker invents the high five. Boom. All right. How you like that? Yeah, I'm still calling it a five And now a he's, five still, he's still here in the locker room. The guys love him. He tells yeah. so many great stories. One I heard recently was just like he was giving the team a pump up speech and he goes, the regular season, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter one bit. You got to turn the page. And this is where legends are born. This is where this is where you make a name for yourself. And he goes, I remember when I was playing one guy, we, we could we we always did well against him was Mark Lemke. But then in the playoffs, we just couldn't get him out. Mark Lemke. Be like Mark Lemke. <laughs> <laughs> he just tells so. It's just incredible the stories this guy has, and I mean, think about it. I, he has been around. I, I remember Justin asked him a question earlier this year about baseball, and he goes, "If I could explain to you what I've seen 
Just know I was there when Hank Aaron broke the all-time home run record, and I was there when Barry Bonds broke the record as well. So Oof. I've seen a lot. Uh, he's seen a lot. He's a legend of the game. For he sure. is a legend. Well, let's dive deeper into Dusty Baker and bring Fox Sports writer Adisha Thosar to talk about her article on FoxSports.com. Disha, welcome into the show. What's up, Disha? Pumped to have you in person now. Same. I've had you on the show before, but yes. now we're here in person talking some Dusty Baker, which you are currently – Writing about Dusty Baker? Yes, is that right? I'm currently writing about Dusty Baker. Just submitted it so I can say I'm finally done. Oh, it's done. done. Okay. I know everything there is to know about Dusty Baker. <laughs> did you know he invented the high five? I did actually know that. <laughs> See? Yes, yes okay. I did know that. <laughs> okay. So <laughs> okay. What, is your, what is the article about that you just wrote? Mostly just that he is the MLB's winningest manager that still doesn't have a World Series. And it's kind of shocking when you put it up against Buck Showalter, who's second, who has 300-something wins. Uh, Dusty has 800-something wins. So he is Whoa. way overdue. Wow. For this ring, and and it's whenever you ask him about it, he's very calm, very cool, collected, and it's funny. Is today he was asked again, and yeah. he said, you know, I don't just want the one ring, I want a second one. So he's not going okay. anywhere, even if okay. he gets the first, he's coming back for more. So. Dusty Baker in the ring is, I think, the narrative that fans can follow, like you mentioned. If they don't exactly want to root for the Astros, they're not exactly the most beloved team in the World Series. Uh, and he's kind of a, a good story to follow in that way. Absolutely. Do you know how many World Series, I don't want to put you on the spot if you don't know it off the top of your head, but how many World Series as a manager has he been a part of? Three. So this is his third? Or this, this is his, his third, yeah. This yeah. is his yeah. third. Okay. One NL pennant, two AL pennants. And I, there's some stat about him getting to game sevens and yeah. losing game sevens. I mean, yeah. it, it, I do think it's a mixture of a little bit of just misfortune and bad luck, but probably a few decisions made along the way. But it is really one of the anomalies in baseball that don't yeah. really make any sense. He's a legend, and that stat is crazy, that he has almost 500 more wins than the next closest manager. Yep. Is that active? Yes, to active. Yep. The active managers to not have a World yep. Series ring, and he doesn't have it yet. And that's on top of, in 2019, yeah. they were the heavily favored team to win it. Yeah, and that was yeah. the most odd. Like, if you look at this stretch, it's one of the most odd stretches ever because that World Series was the first championship in American sports history where the home team never won a yeah, game. Yeah, that was crazy. They get to, True, I forgot about that. They, yeah. they win game five in D.C., and then you have Justin and Garrett Cole pitching game six and seven here needing to win one. Mm -hmm. And it's like Dusty Baker's going to get his ring. And it didn't happen. So how much do the players want to get the ring for Dusty? Did you talk to, yes, to any of the guys that about that? Yes, that was on the forefront of my mind okay. all today because I think it kind of gets lost in everything else. Of course, this is an amazing Astros team yeah. and on field, on talent. I liked what you were talking about with how much do managers even have to do with it. Yeah. And I think a lot because that's this team specifically, the 2022 squad, talks about Dusty's confidence in them, his attitude, especially with someone like Jeremy Pena. Right from the day one of spring training, he was like, you can do this and guys remember that so yeah. Alex Bergman today said that they definitely want to win this for for Dusty Aww. they couldn't get it done last year and uh, five minutes after they were eliminated last year everyone was sort of down in the dumps no one was really up for of course the Braves were celebrating mm -hmm. and exactly five minutes later Dusty was like we'll be back and immediately that fire was back in the clubhouse so I think that just sort of tells how much a manager can dictate what a team does throughout the season especially you mentioned Jeremy Pena. He recently called Dusty Baker a cool cat. <laughs> he's in his 70s. Yes. What, what is it that, I mean. His swag. He's, he's got swag. He's got swag. Yeah. Yeah. And that's what all of them will yeah. say about him. I mean, what is it about Dusty outside of managerial decisions and what he does in the dugout that makes him so beloved in a locker room? Yeah, I think it's he's very approachable and he's kind of always joking no matter what the topic may be. Uh, it's the toothpick in his mouth, of course. It's the wristbands on his arms, the black gloves, the style that he has even beyond the field. I think guys just kind of think that he's one of them yeah. and he, he really sports that attitude of just being approachable and one of the guys. And It's truly hard to believe that he is 73 years old sometimes and it's if we're not for the sometimes the way he carries himself today during his press conference he needed a moment to check his glasses in the light I thought that was like such a cute elderly yeah. moment that he doesn't usually share with us so were it not for those moments I think you could forget that he has been in this game as long as he has as both a player and a manager and speaking of being in the game so long he actually has the inside book on the Phillies number one guy Bryce Harper from their time together yes. 
Did he talk about the advantages he has there? He wouldn't talk about the advantages. Okay. It's funny because okay. no matter how much you try to press Dusty, he knows exactly <laughs> when to stop. Yep. And uh, he won't take it to, to the field competition-wise. But they do still have a really close relationship. And it started with Dusty managing uh, Bryce Harper in 2016 and 17 mm -hmm. with the Nationals. And uh, it just the other, in earlier this month, when uh, the Phillies were in town to play the Astros, uh, Dusty heard a knock on his door. He was like, come in. And it was Bryce. And Aww. he's like, oh, it wasn't, I thought it would be one of my guys. Yeah. Yeah. Really, he just wanted to say, listen, I don't know how far we'll go with the Phillies, but I'm rooting for you if you're the one in the World Series. And Dusty was like, yeah, vice versa. I'll, I'll root for you. if you're." And they, it, I think that really so shows cool. his impact yeah. with players that he hasn't managed for years now. And it really leaves a lasting impact uh, with everyone he's, he's kind of around. That right there, like I just got chills as you were <laughs> like, that was this year? Yeah. But, like That's in so cool. Earlier October. It's like, if it's not going to be me, yeah. I hope it's you. That's so cool. That's, That's awesome. A really, I got like chills hearing yeah, that. That's same. really cool. So, uh, Deisha, thank you for joining us. You were, were you in the locker room when the Astros won in New York? No, I, oh, I wasn't I saw in the. Video. You, yeah, I thought yeah. you went in there. I right? went in at the end, but after the the Yankees sort of clubhouse was a little too depressing, so I wanted <laughs> yeah. to Ooh. to cover Ooh. the end, and I got yeah, some yeah, of the, yeah. the champagne right at the end there. But it was a fun time for sure. And where can everyone check out your article? Uh, on FoxSports.com. Love it, and the Fox Sports app. So. Make sure you're going to read that. Thank you so much for joining yeah, us. That you. was thank some so great much, insight. Yeah, that was great. Thank you for sharing that. Dude. Thanks for watching. If you love flipping bats, swinging 3-0, or just talking ball, join us. Call us at 213-537-9339 with your questions. We have a weekly guest, and we have a lot of fun. So hit that subscribe button.